Hey everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to Meditations and more with me, Shaman Sister Sin. And what I would like to talk about today is the spirituality of sex. That's right, I said it, the dreaded S word. But the truth is, we should embrace sex and sexuality perhaps a lot more than we do in our society. Sex is considered dirty or not something that's respectable or that respectable people talk about. But the truth is, it's as natural as breathing. It's as natural as living. It's as natural as dying. And it also creates some of the most powerful energy that's within our grasp. This is why in many religions you'll see monks and nuns and priests and people who have taken a vow of celibacy. Now some people misinterpret that as the libido or the sexual energy as being an impediment, you know, a block to gaining higher spirituality, but actually the point of it is to harness the sexual energy and channel it into devotion. It's not about blocking it. It's about transforming it into something different because it's so powerful. Every time you have sex, you are expending and surrounding and giving and taking that energy. It's a highly, highly spiritual experience. Now, some of you might think about the sex you recently had and say, yeah, I don't think so. But it is. And it can be if we don't let the ego block it off. Because for too many people in our culture today, sex is ego-driven. It's not driven by love. It's not driven by wanting to exchange energy and expand consciousness. It's just driven by wanting an orgasm. When your focus is on the orgasm, not only are you not fully enjoying it the way that you could, but you're cheating yourself out of what the experience can really bring you. There's a very simple practice called the Tantric Kiss, and it's part of Tantra, T-A-N-T-R-A, if you want to look that up. It's something that I have found to enhance sex with my husband. And I would never do this with somebody that was not a lifelong partner or somebody that I really, really love. It isn't something to be taken lightly. And with the Tantric Kiss, when you are joined with your partner physically, when the body is joined together, you breathe your air into your partner's mouth, into their lungs, and they breathe it back to you, and it's swapped back and forth for as long as this can be done. And it will create a feeling of euphoria in you if done correctly. It is the most powerful form of energy exchange during sex that I personally know of. The ancient wisdom states that it transfers the soul from one body to another. This is the transfer of energy. This is the enhanced spirituality that is the point of sex. Sex isn't just for making babies. Sex is the ultimate unification of male and female. It's the ultimate blending and exchange of energies, of spirit, of soul. And it should always be treated as that. It should always be treated as one of the most spiritual experiences that a person can have. Because it is. It involves the entire mind. It involves the entire body. It involves the spirit, the soul. Everything is focused on this one moment in time. On this one action. Think about the amount of focus and energy that's present in that moment. It should be respected and it should be enjoyed to the fullest. And if you're not looking at sex as a spiritual experience, then you're not enjoying it as much as you could. Meditating before sex is also an excellent way to enjoy the energy exchange. Now that can be a little bit difficult for some people, but if you just try focusing your energy just for a few minutes, even that helps tremendously. Sex is the best when you're with somebody that understands how important, how special that it really is. The spirituality of sex is something that's not understood by everybody and that's a shame. Whenever I talk to people, I realize that more and more and more. So I really wanted to make a podcast about this and really put it out there so that people can research it on their own, can look into a few different things and find out what they're missing. 
because it's beautiful it's spiritual it's so important whenever you have sex with your husband or your wife or your long-term partner you're expressing enhancing expanding your spirituality you're opening your heart you're focusing your mind like a laser you're concentrating all your energy onto one person the goal is not just an orgasm an orgasm is beside the point an orgasm is a physical response it's wonderful it's a great physical response but it's not the only point there are some witchcraft and magic practices which advise getting to the point of orgasm but not allowing the orgasm so that the energy is stored and held onto and can be released into a magical working all magic is is energy so and we are made up of energy we're surrounded by energy everything we do that's what they say the power of positive thinking you're creating the energy and making it work for you you can do the same thing in sex it's even easier in sex because there's two people there's two sources of energy and it's huge energy it's the energy that drives nearly everything on the planet if you think about it sex is the reason for everything it's the reason you exist it's the reason empires have fallen it's the reason families are created it is the reason the driving energy behind so much and you can harness that energy do some research start meditating about it you can do it now I'm not one to tell people how to do things because I think that it's better if people really find out for themselves if they do it on their own you'll learn so much more than just from me telling you if you read about it if you research it if you learn it on your own if you practice it meditate and focus before sex maybe even during sex now you might think you wouldn't be able to do that but it's really all just a question of concentration concentrate on opening up to your partner on feeling what your partner is trying to give you on receiving it on giving back and not just in a physical sense in every sense what are they giving you what are you receiving what are you giving back what are they receiving energy that is the key energy is the key. I'm Shaman Sister Sindel and this has been another installment of Meditations and More podcast. Thanks for listening. May the Great Spirit bless you and have a wonderful day.